Hello, I'm Jeff Michael. Here is your CBS On The Go update. And just in time for the busy holiday travel season, LAX is unveiling new automated screening lanes today. Five lanes of the security screening checkpoint at the International Terminal are getting the upgrade. The new technology allows up to five passengers to fill trays at the same time and go through the body scanner. When the project is finished in the spring, they say that checkpoint will be able to screen almost a thousand more passengers every hour. Some local organizations are joining forces to help the animal survivors of Hurricane Harvey. 63 dogs and cats living in an abandoned grocery store in Houston flew into Burbank Airport yesterday. A Westlake Village nonprofit, the Lucy Pet Foundation, helped make the rescue possible. This is the fourth plane they have chartered from Houston to rescue pets displaced by the hurricane. And talking about weather elsewhere, your CBS2 travel forecast here is Daniel Gersh. Hey, Jeff. Happy Friday, everyone. So a big storm system going to continue to bring active conditions to the western U.S. through early Saturday. So that means more heavy snow for the Rockies. Farther east, a cold front's going to head toward the Ohio Valley on Saturday, bring them rain and some strong thunderstorms. As that front clears and heads toward the east coast on Sunday, cooler, gusty conditions will return with that. Look at your high temperatures today. Another cool day from Portland. Portland into Salt Lake into Grand Forks, Minneapolis. Temperatures topping out in the 30s and the 40s. Here in LA, expecting highs in the low 70s. Warmer in Phoenix, where temperatures will be in the low 80s. Same with Dallas, mid 80s in Houston later on today. Kansas City checking in in the low 60s for the East Coast. Temperatures in the upper 40s in New York, low 40s in Boston, low 60s in Charlotte. If you have any travel plans, the big map looking good, so you shouldn't see any delays uh, that have to do with weather. All right, let's take a look. We have a cold front that's stationary kind of parked over us here in the Southland and it's the weakening tail end of this cold front that's bringing us the light on and off showers this morning as we head into tonight into tomorrow high pressure will start to build over the area this is going to dry out our air mass bring us some gusty winds tonight into early tomorrow morning even have a freeze watch that's been issued for parts of the Antelope Valley so we'll have some cool temperatures through the overnight hours heading into your Saturday this afternoon showers start to taper off we'll call it more isolated I think we'll even see some sunshine breezy for tomorrow. Your weekend looks fabulous. Sunshine returns. Temperatures climb to just slightly above average for tomorrow. We'll add on a couple more degrees heading into Sunday. Clouds return for Monday and Tuesday. If you're making Thanksgiving plans and you're spending it here in the Southland, it is going to be warm with temperatures climbing into the 80s, even upper 80s for some of you and plenty of sunshine for your turkey day. Jeff. The new and improved LA Rams have become the hottest ticket in town, and a big reason for their success is first year head coach Sean McVay. CBS2 Sports Director Jim Hill sat down with that very young coach behind the turnaround. This group is connected. No one thought change would be so immediate. Robert Woods, he's got the angle. Woods spins into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Atop their division and eyeing a playoff berth for the first time in 12 years, the Rams are back. It's broken down into three things, our approach, our preparation, and the performance. And, and uh, you know, the players have bought into that. Last January, after the team's 10th straight losing season, the Rams called a Hail Mary, hiring the 30-year-old Sean McVay to reinvigorate a storied franchise. He became the youngest head coach in modern NFL history. Whether you're an older coach, whether you're a younger coach, you're dealing with grown men. There's a mutual respect that needs to exist for us to all try to collectively, you know, achieve the goals. The team fed off his energy immediately. Guys, back off. It's okay. I continue to be humbled by uh, watching the way that the players play together. They continue to connect as a team and, and just being a part of something like that. That's what makes this game so great, Jim, is being a part of something bigger than yourself. Despite being the legacy grandson of former 49ers general manager John McVay, this coach is millennial modern. He calls offensive plays and has helped sharpen second year quarterback Jared Goff into one of the league's most dangerous weapons. Play action from Goff. Goff. Deep ball. Robert Woods. He's got it. Robert Woods. He is gone. Touchdown Rams. You're good one week and then you're bad another week. You know, we were we were the worst team ever last year and you know now everyone loves us. In this city, nothing translates like a winner. But McVeigh is under no illusions about how hard it will be to sustain success in the NFL. Tough times don't last, tough people do. We've got some resolve and some resilient players in that locker room, and, and uh, that's a great trait to have.
Hey, while we're talking about the Rams, here is your CBS On The Go Sports. The team is gearing up for what could be its toughest game of the season. They're facing the 7-2 Vikings Sunday in Minneapolis. Remember, almost exactly one year ago, the Rams switched quarterbacks by making Case Keenum a backup again and jump-starting Jared Goff's career. Well, this weekend, the former teammates are going to be pitted against each other. Kickoff is at 10 a.m. Sunday. And that is your CBS On The Go update. I'm Jeff Michael. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com. And be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 p.m.